The University of Valencia Astronomy Observatory. Since the beginning of time, man has looked up at the sky and asked himself questions. At the Valencia University Astronomy Observatory, we look towards giving answers to many of these questions. Since its foundation over five centuries ago, the University of Valencia has always promoted the study of astronomy. The Astronomic Observatory was founded in the year 1909, thanks to the efforts of Mr. Ignacio Tarazona, a cosmography and solid earth geophysics professor. The observatory acquires state-of-the-art equipment. Among other instruments, you'll find a refractor telescope purchased from the Grubb Company in Dublin and equipped with a camera and guarded by a dome. Along with his assistant, Vicente Martí Ortiz, Dr. Tarazona carries out an important study on solar spots. Tarazona's research and the services rendered to the city such as transmitting the hour, contribute to the observatory being declared of public utility in 1919. Some of this heritage from the observatory's first era is conserved in the current Chancellor's office on Blasco Ibanez Avenue. At the end of the 20th century, the increase in light pollution in the city of Valencia impeded the observation of the sky, and it became necessary to look for new locations. On the St. Catalina Hill, within the district of Aras de los Olmos, the University of Valencia constructs an observatory at a location which is considered to be a dark place, that's to say, removed from light pollution. In the year 2000, a modernization period begins. The observatory increases its technical and human resources and moves to a new location at the Paterna Scientific Park. The telescope Trobar is installed at Aras de los Olmos. It is completely robotized and capable of being controlled via internet. The researchers at the observatory have articles published in prestigious magazines, collaborate with other national and international astronomy centers, and actively take part in conferences in their specialization. Their principal lines of investigation focus on the study of the structure of the universe on a large scale, the distribution of galaxies and halos of dark matter and their surroundings, and also on the search for extrasolar planets without forgetting the lines that one might consider to be traditional in astronomy, such as stellar physics or the astrometry of minor planets inside the solar system. The task of dissemination has also experienced a strong impulse in this new stage. From the observatory's webpage, different activities are coordinated, orientated to disseminating astronomy and contributing to scientific culture. With the collaboration of the City of Arts and Sciences, we organize conferences, courses, observing get-togethers, and a map of the sky that is updated every month. The observatory also participates in the University of Valencia training programs, La Nao des Estudiants and La Nao Gran.
but the observatory's principal educational project is the Classroom of the Sky, located in Paterna, a didactic office endowed with informational material and a space for audiovisuals, meant to stimulate students' curiosity for astronomy. There are organized open-door meetings in collaboration with the astronomy department. The so-called Friday Night Star Nights are a huge success. The Valencia University Observatory, which is already centenary, is taking on some very clear challenges for the future. To be consolidated as a research center of international prestige and to reinforce their social presence in the public dissemination of astronomy.